welcome you on the another episode of South Asian Vision on Rogers TV. For the series of our interviews with the candidates in the municipal elections, today we are interviewing Derek Ramskun, who is running for mayor in Mississauga. Derek, welcome to our studio. Welcome. Thank you for having me out today. Today. Okay. Can you tell us yourself what you do and uh, where you live and uh, what your business is? Yep. Little bit your introduction to our viewers. To the viewers, well, 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 thank you for having me on your show today. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Derek Ramkasoon, and uh, I'm a business owner in Mississauga for over 12 years. Um, do, do a lot of volunteer work, own my own business, own about three corporations in Mississauga and numerous properties. And so I'm very well invested in Mississauga mm -hmm. and, um, you know, want to give back to the people in Mississauga some of the stuff that Mississauga has been good to me for the past, you know, 20 years or so. So, so you're living in the Mississauga I'm, for... I'm in Mississauga yeah. for over 20 years. Over 20 years. Yes. Okay. Why you think you want to run for mayor? Because that's the highest position it's in the city. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want to start it from the council? Well, I, th I think I have a lot to bring to the city of Mississauga. Mm -hmm. over, my, over my years of, uh, you know, being in Mississauga and, and uh, going out to different locations, seeing mm -hmm. people, talking to people, mm -hmm. in business and in volunteer and ministry, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen a lot of stuff that I can, I can uh, help people with. Mm -hmm. And I think being in the top position in Mississauga, I can, I can do more okay. than I'm doing now. Okay. Um, I, I think I have a lot to offer to the people. I know, I know what the people are looking for. I know the needs. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've been, you know, interacting with the city of Mississauga for, for a number of years now, and mm -hmm. uh, I know what the needs are. And I think if I'm in that top position as mayor of Mississauga, I can, uh, you know, I can bring a lot to the table. Okay. M my expertise in business and volunteer. Okay. My question is that uh, because uh, there's a hurricane in the Mississauga, <laughs> hurricane Hazel. Hazel. From over 30 years, mm -hmm. and everybody said that uh, she have done a wonderful job for the city. Even during the election time, and the, because since this year she is uh, retiring, she never in the city. She never campaigned. Mm -hmm. She'll get over uh, 60, 70 thousand votes. Yes. Why you think that you can bring something different, which Hazel never bring it? Well, I think Hazel has done a tremendously good job in Mississauga for the past number of years as being mayor yeah. uh, there, there's things that we can we can build on there's things that we can tweak to make it better mm -hmm. you know th there's all, there's a lot of stuff that we can do to make Mississauga you know a thriving city okay. and so I think I have the ability to bring that stuff to Mississauga to you know to create jobs for mm -hmm. people there's a lot of I think I un unemployment is 6.5 percent. Mm -hmm. I want to bring that down and I know how to do it because I've been in the industry for over 12 years. Yeah, yeah you, mean, you just mentioned that you have a, you have a employment, agency. An employment agency and yes. you know that where the jobs are yes, and I know available and where can be created. Yes, okay, absolutely. So, so that's your major issue? That's my major thing that I want to bring. I want to bring jobs to the people in Mississauga. I want to create jobs to the students that are in school that are leaving school in this for the summer. Uh -huh. I want to create jobs for them so that they'll keep themselves occupied. Okay. You know, they'll, they'll help their parents out with some of their tuition, mm -hmm. you know, get themselves money, you know, not being in a home like, you, you know, and, and just playing video games or doing whatever it is, but being active in our mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. I also want to make our community uh, center accessible to all mm -hmm. of our kids in Mississauga after hours programs. You know, get them involved in stuff, get them active. Okay. And uh, when we do that, I think we'll see a, a more healthy Mississauga. You know, I'll see a thriving Mississauga. Mm -hmm. And while Hazel has done a tremendously good job, I think I can tweak on some of the things that she's doing to make mm -hmm. it better. Or I can, you know, bring my own things to the table okay. that I want to bring to make Mississauga, you know, a better city. In the, in the past uh, years or uh, maybe more than that, I can, uh, I can imagine that uh, there's a big issue coming in the North America that uh, kids are getting obesity yes. because they are sitting on the computer. They are, they are not playing in the streets like 10 or 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. What you want to bring for those kids who want to come, who you want to pull the kids from the family room by playing games to the streets for playing Active games. Active games, yes. What you want to do with I want to create, like we spend millions of dollar for, dollars in Mississauga to develop or mm -hmm. improve our community centers. And what I want to do is to get these kids out in the, in, into the, the community centers, mm -hmm. playing football, playing soccer, mm -hmm. playing cricket, playing, you know, baseball, 
hockey and things like that. But a lot of kids can't afford to do that. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to do, I'm going to talk to businesses to mm -hmm. see how we can support kids that can't afford to okay. go into these programs okay. and help them. Okay. You know, make it accessible. I want to see, you know, yes, the kids are always at home playing video games and all this right. stuff. But I want them to start using their head. I want them to start, because I want them to start being more active, being, mm -hmm. being participating in stuff. And I want to make that accessible to them. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to do is give them, you know, use the, the retirees, the people that are retired, that have all these skills that can help the kids, whether it be in soccer or, or cricket, coaching them, mm -hmm. you know, and, and mentoring them and helping them to be better kids, better, you know, better, 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 uh, better brothers and sisters yeah. and things like that. Okay. And so I want to help them to develop. We are talking to Dave, uh, Derek Ramskoon, who is running for mayor in Mississauga. And uh, our talk will continue right after a short break. Don't go away, please. Hey folks, I'm here to endorse the Disability Network. They are great people. They're people that get by, they employ, they support, and they really, really get behind people with disabilities. So come on, let's throw our support behind a great cause, the Disability Network. Welcome back to our show. We are talking to Derek Ramskoon, who is running for mayor in Mississauga. Derek, there is also a big issue in every city of the gridlock. Yes. What do you think about that? Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a hot topic everywhere. Right. Tra traffic, transportation, transit. Mm -hmm. uh, what I propose to do is in our, in our busy times, whether it be in the mornings, rush hour, in the afternoons, I want to do, I want to create a, an express lane for truckers okay. to get them in and out the city mm -hmm. so that they don't cost pollution in, in the city. They don't cost idling time. I want them in and out the city so that they can save on fuel, save on, on man hours, and save on, on, on company bottom lines. And so I want to help traffic to flow. But if you look at certain roads in our city, it, you know, from a 10 minute ride will take you half an hour, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. just because there's so much traffic. Mm -hmm. But if we would organize it properly and get those big rigs out of, our, out of the city, I think we will create a lot more free, free space to go. Now, I, 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 my understanding uh, is that uh, trucks cannot go into the city in the rush hours, I think. Trucks are in the city all times. All the time? All the time. Transportation trucks. Okay. And in Mississauga, is the trucking hub of, our, of, of, of Ontario. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of companies in Mississauga with transport trucks. Mm -hmm. And it's very congested. It's okay. very congested. Okay. And so what I want to do is to have a free flow Mm -hmm. Look at what time they're leaving, get them out of our city mm -hmm. so that the commuters, the other people, you know. Have you figured it out that how much it will cost to the city? It will, it will, it costing, it's costing the city billions of dollars a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. so where the money will come from? Well, it would save the city billions of dollars a year if we get these trucks in and out of our city. Okay. By, by not spending idling on fuel, mm -hmm. by not uh, causing man hours with the drivers being in the trucks, mm -hmm. by not causing pollution and everything else. Mm -hmm. What I want to do and what I will work with, uh, with city council closely is to create that lane where we can get these trucks out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the commuters, the nine to fivers, they can have a free flow of traffic okay. going into work. Okay. That will cr save a lot of money to our companies. And what that, I think that would do, that would open up you know, companies, put money in their pockets so they can hire more people to do the jobs that they, you know, they want to get done. Okay. And, uh, uh, and the, the, this is, uh, I think, uh, part of uh, the same grad, uh, grad lock we are talking here. Hazel has, I think Hazel is bringing a motion in the city to close all the drive throughs because drive throughs are creating pollution yes. and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, making a plus point to the obesity of the, when, because you are, when you are not going out of uh, your car mm -hmm. to do banking, to get coffee or something mm -hmm. and uh, what you think about it, how it can be worked out so that everything will be happy. Well, it's, it, it's, it, you got to look at it two ways too because you, you got to look at if people get out of their cars there may not be enough parking mm -hmm. for all these people to just get out and park their cars, to go out and walk. 
we need to, we need to do that. We need to we need to be we need to exercise. I think we spend a lot of time in our cars doing everything. We yeah. bank in our cars. We don't get out. You know, we do everything. We drive through. But I think at a certain point in time, we need to stop, get out, walk, mm -hmm. get into. And this way, you, you know, it, it interacts us with other people. It, it, you know, right. in being in line, we can talk to other people. We get to know our neighbors. We can get to know, you know, our friends, right. meet people. Uh, I think there's a time for it, you know, but I think there's a time that we need to stay in our cars to do that mm -hmm. because of traffic, because of parking. Right. We have a parking issue in, 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 in Mississauga. Mm -hmm. There's not enough parking at the Tim Hortons or, yeah. s you know, other locations for numerous cars that are going through. Yeah, when, and because you have <coughs> mentioned about Tim Horton, I was going to say that <coughs> because Tim Horton, doesn't matter where it is, you always see a line up. Yes. What you, how you can reduce the gridlock from that area if I think first of all, I want to ask you one question. You agree with that uh, Hazel's uh, motion that uh, close that uh, drive-throughs or not? I think we need to. I, I think we need to close some of it mm -hmm. at certain times, but mm -hmm. not all of it at all the time. So you basically you are saying that uh, there should be a time limit for the. There should be there should be certain times during the day where we can close those okay. certain locations, especially, especially peak hours. Peak hours. <laughs> yeah, because that's creating more get log uh, when there yes. are people are. Uh, yes, and if you look at certain locations mm -hmm. yeah. to get into a Tim Hortons, it's also black traffic on the roads right. trying to get by because you got you know there's a lineup to get in. Yeah. I think yes, those are the times that you need to stop it. Okay. Get the people up, park in the parking lot, mm -hmm. go in, get their get their uh, coffee or whatever it is, yeah. and move on okay. but when it's not rush hour when it's you know late at night okay. people may not want to so they can go to the drive through okay when there's less cars and less pollution and things so like you're that. basically yes or no for this uh, I am I am partially okay. <laughs> I want it at certain times but right. at certain times I think it you, you don't need to do it okay. yes. so what else uh, uh, what uh, in your platform you want to discuss to give our viewers your thoughts I want to see Mississauga being a thriving city mm -hmm. I want to see the people of Mississauga, uh, you know, live the life that they came here to live. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make it easy and accessible for all of Mississauga. Everyone mm -hmm. in Mississauga should have equal opportunity to do, to do the things that mm -hmm. they came here to do. Mm -hmm. And so if elected mayor of Mississauga, I will work with the people of Mississauga to help them to live that life they want. I mm -hmm. want to see Mississauga thriving. I want to see Mississauga being a city where people would want to come to vacation. Mm -hmm. People want to come to shop. People want to go to the... We get great restaurants right. in Mississauga. Right. And I want to utilize all this stuff. We get great mu music and, and arts and entertainments in mm -hmm. Port Credit and different parts in Mississauga. I want to develop that more. Mm -hmm. I also want to help people create their own small business. Mm -hmm. You know, I would help them, work with them to create their small business and, 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 and develop entrepreneurs. Okay. And I want I want to see the small businesses. I want to help them to grow. And I want to be medium-sized business. And I want a medium-sized business to grow to be bigger businesses so mm -hmm. we can create more jobs in our, mm -hmm. in our city mm -hmm. so that we can have a thriving city. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think there's a lot of ways we can do that by working together uh, with council and, and with the businesses mm -hmm. and help them in the areas that they're, they're lacking and see what we can give them to do, uh, the resources they need to get those business going and getting mm -hmm. off the ground. And how about their transportation, public transportation? Uh, I think uh, they are uh, the LRT. Yeah, LRT. What uh, What do you think about that? Because uh, Hazel have tried to bring uh, uh, trains mm -hmm. to Miss Zaga, but she's failed yet. Yes. What are your thought about it? Well, I, I I'm not I'm not against the LRT. Mm -hmm. I'm for the LRT, but I'm not going to go out and spend 1.5 billion dollars mm -hmm. to get the LRT in, to in our city. That will not reduce the uh, uh, it would, rush. It would not, well, you're taking up a lane. Right. So now if from three lanes, you're down to two. Mm -hmm. uh, cars. No, no, I'm not, uh, yeah, 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 I was talking about uh, uh, trains. Yes, the trains, yeah. the LRT from Brampton to yeah. Mississauga. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's going to take up a lane on Highway no, I 10. I think she was trying to bring that uh, uh, TTC into Mississauga. Into Mississauga. That's what that rate attach uh, Mississauga to the uh, to, to the Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Yes, and that's what, I, that's what I think they're working on now, because mm -hmm. you've seen it. Right. But I think we need to not, my job is not to spend. Okay. to get Mississauga into debt. Mm -hmm. If I can't afford it, if the city can't afford it, we're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to get our city into debt. I want to get our city out of debt. Okay. And I want to I, I want to do what I do in business, spend where it needs to be spent mm -hmm. and cut back where it needs to be cut back. Mm -hmm. But I will not get our city into debt. If we can't afford it, I will not go ahead and do it until so, we can. So you think that uh, the bureaucrats uh, sitting in the city are they are overspending somewhere? Well, if you look, I think we're overspending in a lot of ways. Okay. Yes. Like? 
Uh, well, <laughs> there's there's lots of ways. I'm I think. the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you, we've seen what we have done, yeah. you know, with our lakefront and things things like that. I know that we spent a lot of money in 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 uh, Mississauga for stuff that we don't need. Mm -hmm. But I want to look at those ways, and I want to look at ways where I think we need to, you know, to um, really cut back mm -hmm. and look at ways where we need to spend where where it's needed. Mm -hmm. And I think in certain areas in, in Mississauga, we need to look at those, the big picture and see how we can improve on it. Okay. I will not go out and spend on things that we don't need. Okay. Viewers, we are talking to Derek Ramsukun, who is running for mayor in Mississauga. And uh, we are bringing his platform, his issues to you so that you can decide which is, could be a good person to run city of Mississauga after Hazel is leaving this year. Every candidate is new for the mayor in Mississauga because not every candidate is new. Some are in the politics and some are not in the politics. Some are brand new, but they are trying to run like Hazel. They have, she have done a wonderful job for the last over 30 years. We'll be back after this break. Hey folks, I'm here to endorse the Disability Network. They are great people. They're people that get by, they employ, they support, and they really, really get behind people with disabilities. So come on, let's throw our support behind a great cause, the Disability Network. We welcome you back after the break. We are talking to Derek Ramskun, who is running for Mississauga as a mayor. We are not promoting here anybody. We are bringing their issues and platform to you so that you can decide which candidate can serve you better than Hazel, because Hazel has done good <laughs> jobs. Derek, one thing I want to ask you. You have mentioned in your platform about town hall meetings. Yes. What is importance? you think for the Mississauga? I think it's important that we listen to the people in Mississauga, their concerns, mm -hmm. their needs, things that are bothering them. Okay. And I would, you know, I would do the same that I do in business, an open door policy. Mm -hmm. And so I want to have every month town hall meetings, mm -hmm. listen to the people's problems, see who, what they're struggling with and how we can help them. Mm -hmm. Because I think if we listen to their problems, we may not be able to solve all their problems. Yes. But if we can help people where they're at and solve some of their problems and help those people to, you know, to, to, to live a better life, mm -hmm. I think we'll accomplish certain things. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be a person who's going to be behind the door. I'm going to be a mayor who is going to be out and about in the city, mm -hmm. interacting with people, listening mm -hmm. to their problems, listening to their, their needs, and try and see how I can help them. Mm -hmm. Because I want to be the people's mayor. Okay. I want to be the f new face of Mississauga. Mm -hmm. I want to help the people. Mm -hmm. And if we can do that and work together, like I said, we may not be able to solve all their problems. Of course. But yes. if we can solve most of their problems, mm -hmm. I think we'll, we'll get a better city. Also, I, I think uh, because the country is getting more multiculturalism. Yes. I think in Mississauga we have a lot of culture. Yes. In Brampton there is a lot of culture. Yes. How you accomplish their thoughts into your platform? I, I've been around <laughs> all these people before. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I, I've, uh, I've listened to a lot of people's their concerns okay. in the past. Okay. It's nothing new to me. Okay. You know, I grew up. In Mississauga, well, I didn't, uh, you know, I spent many years in Mississauga, and, and I look at, uh, you know, I interact with people. My wife is a Canadian, mm -hmm. and I'm from the West Indies, mm -hmm. but I've dealt with people from all culture. Okay. And I know how to, uh, how to interact with them. Okay. It's not going to be anything new for me. It's just going to be, you know, it's like, you know, fitting in perfectly. Okay. Because I understand okay. their culture. Okay. Uh, and, and a few days back. Uh, we heard about Hazel McKellian. She's she's talking about the gas plant closure. She said it has been talk over over talk, and we should we should forget about that. Mm -hmm. That's all taxpayers' money, which is yes. spent. 
What do you want to say on that? Then? Well, I think, I think, you know, we need to put person, people who are responsible mm -hmm. in, in, in charge. And I think if you're going to select a mayor, you need to select a mayor who is not be uh, squander the taxpayer's money. Mm -hmm. You need to put a mayor in there who is going to spend the money like its own right. and b be responsible. Uh, and, and I think I'm that person who is responsible, who can spend the taxpayer's money wisely. Uh, I'm not going to go out and do things like that, but I'll really think about it and work on it with, mm -hmm. with, with city council to make sure that this is in the best interest of all of the, the citizens of Mississauga. So basically you're talking about that it should be full transparency in the... Absolutely. Yes. It should be transparency because those are the people that are paying our, our right. salary. Right. And we're responsible right. and, 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 and accountable how we spend it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm accountable for the people that are, that are paying the taxes. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that I'm spending their money wisely. Right. Because they're hardworking people working to, 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 to you know, to get better in life. Mm -hmm. And I can't go out and spend their money the way it is. So I think mm -hmm. there must be transparency in city council. Okay. There must be transparency with the mayor and, and whoever it is that they put in charge. Okay. And so we just can't go out and spend and say, well, it's, you know, we got to make sure that we do the right thing. Okay. And uh, we are talking to Derek, who is running for mayor of Mississauga. At the end, would you like to say something to your viewers? Because they are the one who are going mm -hmm. to send to you. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for having me on your show, but mm -hmm. to the viewers, the voters in Mississauga, I want you to, to, to know that on October, when you go to the polls, October 27, October 27 yeah. when you go to the polls, the person that you put into that office, the head of Mississauga, make sure that the person that you're putting in there is the person that's responsible, the person that's going to treat people like people, the person that are a people person. And I guarantee you that if you put me in to be the mayor of Mississauga, I will do the best job I, I can. I will be the people's mayor. I want to work with you. I'm going to work for you. And I'm going to help you in every way possible. And so I want to thank you for stepping up to the plate and put the right people in there. And if, uh, if that's me, I guarantee you I'll do the best job possible that I can. Thank you. Thank you very much, Derek. Thank you. Yeah, and, and, and uh, we, are, we, are, we are just uh, talking to Derek Ramskun, who is running for mayor in Mississauga. Derek, in the future, because we still have time, if you have something new you want to add in, please call me. We'll bring you on the show again Absolutely. so that you can send your message to, uh, to your voters in the Mississauga who will like you or may, li may not like you. That's up to them. Mm -hmm. We are not endorsing anybody because I always say that because that's not our job. That's your job to select the right person mm -hmm. who will serve you better. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Jay Stoyan for the Disability Network, and we're down here at the Queen Elizabeth Building for the People in Motion exhibition. Over a hundred vendors are here. Again, check us out. You can go to our website, www.disabilitynetwork. We have all the information there, including some clips, some names, some blurbs, terrific vendors from Special Olympics to Zuma Radio to TDN and MV1. So again, we're down here at People in Motion exhibition with over 100 vendors for the disability communities.